Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is JT from Above and Lord. But I want to talk about Jamal Chalo. And um, I, one of the reporters is asking him, asking him questions. And uh, they said, who's his next fight is going to be? And he said, Dennis Hogan. And uh, that's the dude that allegedly uh, beat Jaime McGear. And, uh, well, he lost. But, you know, um, you know, some people get the, you know, uh, the judges go for the uh, most popular fighter, right? And, and that's, this is not nothing new, but uh, but a lot of people said that uh, uh, Jaime McGill lost that fight. But it's kind of funny now. Um, it's kind of weird in the sense that Jaime McGill jumped the weight to 160 uh, in the Jamal Charlo uh, division, and now Dennis Hogan jumped up weight to fight. Uh, to fight, I think is going to be fighting uh, Jamal Jamal Charlo. You know what I'm saying? Because uh. Oscar De La Hoya is trying to, I think he's he's gonna want to make the fight with Jaime McGill versus Jamal Charlo. And I think that might be a I think that might be a good fight, but not right now. It's not gonna be a good fight, I don't think. I think that uh, you know, um Jamal Charlo has been in the division for a while. And of course, his career haven't been turned it's not turned out the way I thought it would be turning out. I think he should be fighting real like Demetrius Andrade or um, Daniel Jacobs, uh, Canelo Alvarez, and uh, Triple G, but Triple G don't want to fight uh, Jamal Charlo, and like it looks like Canelo Alvarez don't want to fight him, but I don't know because Canelo Alvarez did fight Daniel Jacobs, and he did fight Triple G. So why would he want? Why would he want fight Jamal Charlo? I mean, Jamal Charlo didn't look good bring uh, against our uh, Brandon Brandon Adams, and he didn't look good with Matt Carverball because which I think he lost against Matt Carverball, right? But he did he did hurt uh, Matt Coverball, but Jaime McGill didn't hurt Dennis Hogan in the fight. Like like Jamal Charlo hurt Matt Coverball, but both of them did, I think both of them did lost lo did lose that fight between them those two fighters, right? But now Jamal Charlo is fighting Dennis Hogan, and uh, I think that I think he's uh, I'm a I'm a I'm a look more I'm a look some more to Dennis Hogan look look him at look at him a little bit more. Because the one thing about Dennis, uh, I mean, uh, Jamal, uh, I mean, uh, Jaime McGear, he doesn't have no defense. He don't have good defense. His chin is, his chin is up there to be hit. If he get hit by, uh, Jamal Charlo, it's going to be lights out. It's not going to go 12 rounds. Trust me. Because, I mean, Dennis Hogan, Dennis Hogan, he hurt, uh, Jaime McGear. You know, his, his legs is doing, uh, doing a little dance. Um, I mean, Matt Caldwell didn't hurt, uh, didn't, he did not hurt uh, Jamal Charlo. Jamal Charlo would have a good chin. And uh, Jaime McGee have a good chin, too, to a certain degree, right, until I see him into that fight. But I will say this. I think they are landing in this fight. I think Oscar De La Hoya and um, I think Al Haven might be uh, uh, might be landing this fight up. And I think it's going to be an interesting fight. Uh, it's not a 50-50 fight right now. I think Jamal Charlo will edge that fight out. I think, I mean, I think matter of fact, I think Jamal Charlo will knock him out. You know what I'm saying? Because Jamal Charlo... He has okay defense. I think his defense is better than uh, Jaime McGee. I would definitely say that. Both, both of them big guys. Both of them are six feet. Both of them almost got the same reach. I think uh, Jamal Charlie got a, his, his reach is longer than Jaime McGee. But both of them are big boys. Big men, right? Um, get, both of them are uh, heavy uh, um, are knockout artists. Um, um, so I, I expect, I put it like this. I don't expect I don't I don't expect both these uh both of these fighters to go twelve rounds. I don't think it's gonna go to the judges. Trust me. I don't think it's gonna go there. I think it's somebody somebody's gonna get knocked out. Now, if, if it happened like next year, I think uh Jamal Charlo would knock out it's gonna knock out Jaime McGill. But if it goes if Jaime McGill get two or three more fights in and it, it's gotta be a good it's gotta be against some good opponents, whatever, then this is gonna be a very interesting fight. It'd be a fifty fifty fight, I would definitely say that. Then it, 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 I would say it depends on how he beat those opponents. That's it at 160 pounds. I would definitely say that. Then it'd be a 50-50 fight. If he beat them, if he beat them, um, if even if he knock him out or go to the decision and it was like a dominating uh, uh, performance with him, then then we could probably say it's a 50-50 fight between Henry Gear versus Jamal Charlo. Then on top of that, don't forget that uh, Eric, Eric Morales. Uh, is um is his training now? He's uh he's teaching him how to be have uh, have good defense now, 
You know, so I don't, I, and, and, and he definitely got to do that right now because he jumped to 160 pounds with the big, with, with big punchers and people who's been there for a long, for, for a minute, right? So, um, because Canelo I might drop down to 160. Uh, Dan Jenkins went up on weight. Uh, um, uh, Demetrius, um, uh, who's that? Um, Damian Chico's there. Uh, Troop, uh, Trooper G is there at 160 pounds. Um, and on Andra is there too. So it's it's um it's gonna be it's gonna be very interesting now. Which is her, which Jaime McGee is there too at the same time, right? So, but right now, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to I'm 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 going with Jamal Charlo on this, but. Now with the Dennis Hogan's fight, uh, I really believe that I feel right now that that's going to be an interesting challenge, stuff like that. But it might not be that interesting. I think that matter of fact, put it like this: it might be interesting, but it might not. I would say that if Dennis, if Dennis Hogan is jumping on weight at 160 to fight Jamal Charlo, Jamal Charlo, I think he's gonna. I think. I don't think it's gonna go to a rounds. So you know, I think Jamal Charlo going. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna beat uh, Dennis Hogan. I really believe that because then because I because uh, Jamal Charlo uh, hurt uh, Matt Cowboy. I think Matt Cowboy is a better fighter than uh, Dennis Hogan. And Matt Cowboy is like five eleven. He's got a longer reach than Dennis Hogan. Dennis Hogan, Dennis Hogan is five eight. But I know that. I know that Jamal Charlo did. He didn't do that great with uh, Brandon Adams. But Brandon Adams. Bradham Adams came there to really survive. He was like ducking down all the time. It was hard for uh, Jamal Ch Jamal Charlo to hit him. He was ducking. He was he was in and out sometimes. He was he made it awkward for uh, Jamal Charlo. So Jamal Charlo, every time he fight these people, he is learning to it. Hopefully he is learning. Hopefully he's learning, right? So Dennis Hogan, he's a straight up fighter. He's not gonna just bob and weave and duck down and Duck punches here and there and stuff like that. He just don't have the defense like Brandon Adams have, right? So I expect him to. I expect somebody not. I expect this fight not to go twelve rounds. I swear. I really believe that uh, Jamal Charlo. Uh, that uh, and I could be wrong, but I, I think that that Jamal Charlo been at this way for a long time, and he he's a heavy hitter. He's a knockout artist, and he hit harder than his brother, of course, because his record shows that, right? And then the Dennis Hogan is jumping up weight. It's like, it's like, it's like. It's like uh, Mikey Garcia jumping way to fight Errol Spence Jr. You fighting like I think the number, I think number three in in the in the um in the middle in the super super middleweight division. I think, and you fighting him, you could you could be fighting somebody else like get get two two no fight then fight Jamal Taylor. But I guess he want to go against the grinding. I guess he want to make. Uh, I guess he had a, he got the same mentality as uh Mikey Garcia, Dennis Hogan. I'm talking about uh, as he want to be great. Uh, so it, it's some. This is something. This is this is very interesting. The super middleweight is very interesting. Like the welterweight division and the heavyweight division is really interesting. So it's something to see. So what do y'all think about what I'm talking? What I'm what I'm saying? What I, what I just talked about? Do you think it's gonna be an interesting fight? Do you think it's going twelve rounds? Do you think uh do you think Dennis Dennis Hogan got a chance of uh uh, going 12 with uh, Jamal Charlo. Do you think he don't have a chance? Do you think this fight is tune is, is getting uh getting Jamal uh, Charlo tuned up for a fight with Jaime McGill, which Oscar De La Hoya said he wanted want to make? So what do y'all think? Uh, leave a comment at the bottom of my page. Subscribe to my page. Like my page. Hit the notification bell for new videos from me. This is JD from Bubba Miller Belt. I right, bye.